We all enjoy Colorado's colorful skies, but have you ever wondered why the sky is blue and sunsets are red? I asked Professor Johnson. Those two questions are related, Larry. Turns out I didn't tell you everything yesterday. Light is made up of not only many colors, but those colors have different energies. And that's why the sky is blue and the sunsets are red. It's the interaction of these different energies with the Earth's atmosphere. We can demonstrate that here in the laboratory. Now you see an image of the sun on the wall over there. By adding particles to this tank of water, we can simulate the Earth's atmosphere. The particles in the Earth's atmosphere interact with the more energetic blue waves, scattering them in all directions in the sky. That's why the sky is blue. But why are sunsets red? The reason why sunsets are red, Larry, is because when the sun is on the Earth's horizon, the light from the sun travels through a thicker part of the Earth's atmosphere, scattering away the more energetic blue waves, leaving the red waves to be seen by our eyes. We can simulate this by adding more particles to the water tank. With the lights off, I got a clear view. The particles scattered the blue light throughout the water, illustrating a blue sky. But red and orange waves passed through, creating a colorful sunset. So does scattering explain why we have, like, colors in our clothes? Well, not exactly, Larry. To understand why we have colors in our clothes, we need to know about selective absorption. It turns out that there are dyes in our clothes that not only reflect or scatter light, but also absorb light. Like take our blue coats here, for example. The dye in the coat here is subtracting all the other colors from the white light and reflecting the blue light to our eyes. You know, we can even hear absorption. Oh, what do you mean, hear? Come with me. What do you have there, Larry? Well, this is a balloon inside of a balloon, a red balloon inside of a clear balloon. What do you think would happen if we put those two balloons in the path of a laser beam? Oh, that's easy. A laser beam is intense, so it would pop both the balloons. Let's try it. First, let's put on our goggles. And then we'll put these two balloons right here. And I'm going to aim the laser beam right through them. Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Why do you think only one balloon popped, Larry? Well, it must have had something to do with the color of the balloons. The clear balloon transmitted the light. The red balloon absorbed the green light, heating it up and popping it. Exactly. You want to see that again? Oh, I'd love to. Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, that's great.